In tonight's Project Earth, we have a story about a little blue butterfly that used to call San Francisco home. About 100 years ago, the species was driven to extinction due to human activity. But this butterfly story is far from over. In fact, it's taking new flight. At the Presidio in San Francisco, researchers, community scientists, and park officials gathered in hopes of filling a vacancy. Among the volunteers, students Candace Mills and Eva Driggs. It's already perfect for them here. Yeah. Perfect home. Super awesome. <laughs> From a cooler bag. It's the last one. Meet the new residents. Inside each container, a single silvery blue butterfly sipping on a cotton ball soaked in fruit punch Gatorade. It took 30 years to restore these sand dunes. With these butterflies, a historic effort is now underway to restore another lost treasure. As the morning sun warms up, the silvery blues will be released. The first thing that we're going to do is put this mesh over and release it underneath the mesh. The butterflies pop out, the mesh is removed, and they take off. There. Volunteers track their flight for about an hour. By bringing back this butterfly, we are bringing back more of what used to be here. Scientists want to see if this batch of silvery blues will take up residence and perform a critical function once done by an extinct butterfly called the Xerxes blue. We are expecting that the silvery blue will fill the gap that was left by the Xerxes extinction. Before the gold rush, the Xerxes thrived in coastal dunes around San Francisco. It kept the habitat healthy by pollinating plants and serving as food for other critters. Rapid urban development destroyed the dunes and that destroyed the Xerxes. This is an iconic species that literally was the first butterfly or invertebrate to go extinct in North America. Senior research fellow Darrell Capon is with the California Academy of Sciences. He heads up the project. It's an opportunity to try to practice how we fix the environment. At the Academy, tests confirm the closest living relative to the extinct Xerxes is the silvery blue. Not only that, like the Xerxes, the silvery blues living near Monterey also like cold, foggy weather, dune habitats, and deer weed. That's where they lay eggs. With permission, scientists brought some back to the Presidio. You know, this is a pretty magical moment. Phoebe Parker Shames is a wildlife ecologist with the Presidio Trust. She says adding the silvery blues into the habitat builds resilience into a world that's facing climate change. If one year it's too hot for a particular species and their population sort of has a dip, there's another species there that can help fill the same role. So far this year, about 50 silvery blues were released. Eva and Candace saw one already laying her eggs Ooh. on some deer weed. It was really cool, honestly. New hope taking flight. Each butterfly is released has an identifying mark. So last year, scientists released their first batch, and they're now spotting some unmarked silvery blues, silvery blues, which are the offspring, and it's very promising results. Can you tell I'm excited?